So look, we're delighted to um, acknowledge that three of our Orange Ruffy fisheries, which is about two thirds of the total catch, have met the world's highest standard for sustainable fisheries, the Marine Stewardship Council. The MSC is um, an acronym for the Marine Stewardship Council. Um, we're an international non-profit. We developed an international standard um, which we consider to be the gold standard for sustainability. We have an eco-label which recognises those fisheries that are sustainably managed and managing to our standard. Orange Ruffy has been one of the most controversial fishers, fisheries in the world. It's been an icon of poor management, of unsustainable fisheries. Uh, it's been on every NGO's red list. It's often said that, that fisheries are very much like managing forests, except you can't see them and they move around the whole time. And this is very much the case with Ruffy. The need to, to, to be able to estimate the abundance of, of, of orange Ruffy is addressed by using acoustic methods. What the orange Ruffy fishery has had to do is invent new techniques of putting acoustic measurement tools down at depth to be able to understand what the stock size is, to be able to put that into scientific models and develop a really robust understanding of the current stock status and its trajectory. It uses video, photographs as well. You can look at individual orange roughly, be sure you're measuring the, the particular fish which is a key component in, in, in estimating the biomass. So these are real, real challenges of, of technology to, to support the science of the assessment. So we make sure our standard is science-based, it's rigorous, and we also make sure that the audits are science-based and rigorous. First of all, our standard assesses fisheries for the sustainability. We have another standard that assesses the supply chain for its consistency. And the third thing it looks at is the robustness of the management, so we can trust and make sure that in the future that sustainability is maintained. These are the first of the really deep water fisheries to be certified that demonstrates that these fisheries can be sustainable and uh, people around the world should take note of that. This really is a, a sort of a landmark showing that what is admittedly a very difficult species to manage because they're deep, they're hard to detect, hard to count, that they can be well managed and uh, New Zealand has really led the world in how to manage these deep long-lived species. Every part of the certification process is transparent. We have massive amounts of stakeholder input and engagement throughout it. All the reports are very public and you can go to the MSC website and pull down the Orange Traffery reports or the other reports of the other fisheries and you can read in detail what the assessor says. 74% of our deep water fisheries are now certified. That's 17 fisheries for Hake, Ling, Hokie and Southern Blue Whiting. And now they're joined by the three largest Orange Traffery fisheries. And we won't stop there. Our program runs out through squid and jack mackerel. So there's more to see yet.